Hey YouTube, uh, this video is on uh, a ceiling fan remote control kit, as you can see, and it's for using um, Alexa with your ceiling fan and also light uh, system. <clears throat> so basically, this Alexa stop. So um, we'll just call her A L E X A for now on. Um, so I have too many in the house. <clears throat> this right here was inside that fan. Oh, I'm trying to get you to see it. I have a, uh, sorry, I have a head. There it is right there. <sighs> so I have this thing on my head. Uh, I'm just trying it out to, uh, for videos so I have both hands free. <clears throat> anyway, this was in the fan. Uh, the one that you get <clears throat> in this box um, has the same three wires here. The same three wires here. Basically, these are your power um, uh, power wires. This is just antenna, and um, these go to the fan and and so on, um, fan and light. And I can't remember what the blue one's for, but it'll have the same exact wirings. Um, but it's actually a little smaller. So if you see the size of this, it's a you know this is from here to here. The one that's up there now is about from here to here. So it's a lot smaller and easier to fit inside that little area of the fan. <clears throat> um, so it's also Wi-Fi where this is just IR. Um, so once you get it set up in the fan, um, you know, it just works. <clears throat> the reason for the video is I wanted to be able to operate my, my fan and the light for the fan with AliExA. Um, so... I was trying to figure out how to do it, and I found out about these um, switches here, and they're made by Lutron, and they're really nice looking, so on and so forth, but they're very expensive, so I got these together in a kit along with a hub. Uh, you need the hub because these are, you know, Wi-Fi also, and they'll talk to the hub. The hub has to be set up on your internet, and so on, and that's how they work, so you, it did work. So I had this one right here um, plugged into the fan, and... Um, it has two lights on it, like shows a little light bulb here and a little light bulb here. And it, all I could make it do wirelessly was turn the fan on. I had to choose one or the other, fan or uh, the light. <clears throat> and basically how you're wiring it up is how, how that happens. Um, and I spent a long time trying to get it to work. So then I found out they sell one of these that has a fan on one of these and a light on it. And I was like, oh, great. Um, that'll probably work. And so I purchased that. It didn't work either. Uh, basically worked even worse than this one does. Um, so I found out that you need one of these to make it work, um, which I was pretty upset about. Not really upset. I was like, okay, I'll buy that. You can't find it. You can't find the one that works with Lutron it doesn't even exist. Um, I did watch a video where a guy installed the whole thing and it worked, but you can't get your hands on it. You can't Google search it. I don't even think they make it anymore. Um, Amazon, eBay, couldn't find it anywhere. So I just gave up on these. And like I said, these are expensive. I think I paid like $150, $175 for the three. And then I had bought two separate ones that had the fan and light combo, because I have two fans in this house. Um, those are $60 a piece. I ended up returning those, and i um, actually going to, I'm not going to return this. My, my brother's going to buy it off me, this whole set. Or I might keep it, because they work, they're decent switches, and they work well for other things. Um, but I just don't th think I have the need for it, because I have so many things hooked up now. But anyway, so it didn't work. <clears throat> um but the one that came in here did. This was, I got on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. And it was only like $30, something like that, which is way cheaper. I needed two of them, so that's $60. Basically, one of these cost $60. Not this one, but the fan and light combo that didn't work anyways. So um, I got both of them done for the price of one of those. <clears throat> I'm making the video because I spent a lot of time on the Lutrons. Um, I'm talking about, you know, hours trying to wire them to make them work because they were supposed to. 
Uh, that's the disappointing thing I find about Lutron. Uh, people really like these switches and so on. The downside is um, they don't really give you enough information and uh, tell you how to do what you're trying to do. Like they sell this fan and light combo, but they don't really explain to you, uh, even in the directions, how they, they tell you how to wire it up, but they don't tell you at all about the hub that you need to make it work. Um, and when you're buying this stuff in the store, it's the same thing. You really don't know what <clears throat> what to do. And you have to buy all these things separate, these plates and so on and so forth. Um, it's just a real hassle. And I'm not really trying to um, say anything bad about Lutron other than my experience. And I don't want other people wasting their time purchasing these and trying to set them up as much time as I did just to find out that they're not going to ever work anyway. Essentially, I had this one hooked up. And um, it was able to uh, turn the fan on, which was kind of nice. But I still had to use the remote uh, to turn the light on <clears throat> itself, which incidentally, this also comes with a remote. Um, comes with a remote, uh, some paperwork. The paperwork's pretty straightforward. You have to download an app um, so that it will work with AliExA. Uh, I can't remember the name of it off the top of Smart Life app. So, um, and you have to get the Smart Life app, and it's a little tricky to figure out how to do it, especially if you have more than one. So, I had to create groups in the Alexa app um, in order to be able to do certain things and whatever. I did find out also, incidentally, that in 2018, AliXA, they added this feature. So, if you have a device in a in a specific room, <clears throat> you can create a group for that room and every anything that you put in that group, this device is supposed to know you're talking to it. So if you tell it to just turn on the light, it's supposed to just turn on the light. I do have one over there. Um, I call it ECHO and I had that all set up. So I had the light for the fan and I had um, the fan. That's all I have in this room that's Wi-Fi. So I had it set up. It didn't really work because once you ha start having other devices named the same things or whatever, um, for whatever the reason, it just wouldn't work. And I spent quite a while trying to set that up. So basically now what I have everything set up, this, this is my family room. So that light up there is called family room light. The fan, family room fan. <clears throat> so I'll just demonstrate for you now. Uh, you can see the lights on in here. Echo. Turn off family room light. And you can see the lights off. And the fan is still on. So, and you can see it now, sorry. Echo, turn off family room fan. And now it just shut the fan off. Echo, turn on family room light. So you can see it works, um, and you just have to remember what room you're actually in. <clears throat> and, um, you know, if anybody needs uh, any help with, you know, squaring that away, uh, just let me know. But how I did it, I can't show you because it's on my phone uh, that I'm using to video this. So I'd have to do another video on that, and I may do that as well. <clears throat> so essentially, you just had to create groups. Um, I created a, you know, I let... Uh, that device, ECHO, know that it um, does have the fan in the room and so on. I also created another group called Family Room uh, Fan. That's what the group's called. And then I had to go s grab the specific fan, which is this one here, select that and put it in there. <clears throat> so I kind of have two groups for each room to make it work. <clears throat> this knows that it's den. This device knows that it's in the, uh, sorry, it knows that it's in the family room. Um, and I did put <clears throat> the fan by itself in the room. Um, but the light, for whatever reason, in the same room wouldn't work. It would like turn a light on somewhere else. <clears throat> so I had to create another group called uh, family room light. And then I went and got that light and put it in that group and had to take it out of the, um, the family room group. 
<clears throat> but you can see that it does work now. It took me a little while longer, um, but it does work. So I just wanted you guys to, to be able to, you know, have this video so that you know that you can make it work. Um, it also, it only goes on 2.4 uh, gigahertz. So, so if you have, you know, 5 gigahertz on your router, it can't work on that side. It has to work on the 2.4. Um, that's the Wi-Fi part <clears throat> using the Smart Life app. And um, <clears throat> bear with me. So when we're when you're um, trying to set it up on Wi-Fi, also make sure on your device that you're going to use to try and set it up with the app that that device <clears throat> is on the 2.4 side before you even start trying to do anything. Because if you have more than you know, if you have more than the 2.4 side and your device is on the five gigahertz side. It's not going to work. So through settings on your device, make sure you connect to 2.4. Then start the whole process of using the Smart Life app um, to uh, do what you need to do. Now, incidentally, I'll I'll show you. Um, I'll show you the remote for it. So here's the remote, <clears throat> and um, it works pretty well. I mean, I don't even use it, but this is what the remote looks like. Um, and to get it set up using the Smart Life app, there's a button on it, 8H. Um, it's right here. You have to hold that. I'm not going to do it again because I already set mine up, as you can see. You have to hold that button in, and you're going to hear a beep and then another beep. If you push it, you're just going to hear a beep. But if you're holding it, you're supposed to hold it for like three seconds, and you'll hear a beep. Because anytime you press a button up there, you hear a beep no, letting you know it's talking to it. Hold it in and you'll hear another beep. Um, and then it will just keep beeping. You know, and once you hear that, then you know uh, the Smart Life app is going to start working. And it's going to find that fan. And then you set it up through the Smart Life app. Um, and you'll have to name it and the whole thing. And that's... As soon as you do that, if you already have AliExA, <clears throat> once it's connected, mine let me know right away that it was connected. It found it. It found two more things. It found the light in the fan, essentially, and then you know you had to name those and do the whole thing I just told you uh, to make them work. Um, that's about all I can think of, guys. And uh, like I said, <clears throat> essentially, I just wanted to be able to turn my light and my fan on. Um, without having to use a remote. Um, you still can use the remote. It does still work. I can show you. See, I shut the light off with this. <clears throat> I did find that, <clears throat> excuse me, the antenna, where is it? <clears throat> so like the antenna for these things, um, it's actually a little bit longer in the one that's up there, but it's it doesn't work quite as well as this. Um, this one worked pretty good from anywhere. This one's kind of temperamental. I have to kind of like, you know, have the right angle to get it. I'm okay with it because I'm not using it for that. Um, with the Wi-Fi, it just works better. And I, I, all I have to do is say, you know, Echo, turn on family room light. And it'll just come on, see? So I don't have to use this, but <clears throat> for whatever reason, if I had to, I have it. Um, that's all I got, YouTube. Hopefully this helps you guys, saves you some time. Um, it totally did for me. Well, it didn't save me any time, but <clears throat> that's why I'm creating the video, but I'm, I'm really happy, uh, for something as cheap as this, you know, $30, uh, well worth it to be able to do what I was trying to do. And, um, that's all you guys are going to need. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. If you're not a sub subscriber and you liked the video and it helped you, please subscribe and, um, see you, you guys on the next video.